In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Peace, and, peace and grace of Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord in the Temple in Jerusalem, Candlemas Day, and we bless the candles and ask the Lord's blessings upon all of us that we might be lights to the world. Behold, the Lord, our, behold, our Lord will come with power to enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. Dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple Enlightened by the same spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed him with exaltation. So let us gathered here together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find him and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes in again revealed in glory. Raise your hands in the blessings over the candles. Let us pray, O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon, the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessings these candles, which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God of true light, who create light eternal, spreading it far and wide, pour, we pray, into the hearts of the faithful the brilliance of the perpetual light, so that all who are brightened in your holy temple by the splendor of these candles may happily reach the light of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A light for the revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Kyrie eleison. Lord, now let your servant go in peace in accordance with your word. Christe eleison, Christe eleison. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all peoples. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, to our heavenly King, our God, our God, God, Jesus Christ, only God and Son, Lord God, the Lamb of God, who take away, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are to take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son, was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet, Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending a messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. 
but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire and like the fuller's light. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gate, your lintels, reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in the blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through the death he might destroy the one who is the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through the fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not, surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those being tested. The word of the Lord. to the Gentiles and the glory for your people, Israel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now, for a moment, think about this. This is occurring in the temple. It's at early in the day. The temple is filled with people bringing their children to be presented to the Lord from all over the Palestine. Lots and lots of people. Chaos, 
children crying, and yet suddenly Simeon and Anna, two elders who've been in the temple for years and years, are standing there and suddenly they, they start chirping like prophets, bubbling forth with the message that Jesus is something special. Mary and Joseph offer two, two young pigeons or a pair of turtle doves. That's the offering, the sacrifice of the poor. So they're, they're not wealthy. They are on the edge of, of financial collapse. And yet they're coming into Jerusalem from Bethlehem. It's about seven miles. And they're there and they present him. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. The nephesh Yahweh, the breath of God, was upon him. That he should not see death before he had seen the anointed one of the Lord, the Messiah. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when his parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took the child Jesus in his arms and he blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light, to reve- a light for revelation to the, to the Gentiles, to the nations of the earth, and the glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them. And then he said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce, so the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher, She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband and after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. 84 means seven times 12. She's the fullness of life. She never left the temple, but worshiped day and night with fasting and prayer, and coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. So here are two essential Jewish people at the very height of their Jewishness praising this child, this little baby that is brought in in the midst of the crowds. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, Mary and Joseph returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a little phrase at the end of there. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. When God's favor rests on us, it rests on us. It stays with us. It keeps us going on our way. Okay, God doesn't give his grace at one moment and then take it away. His favor rests on us. And so we're always, like Jesus at the presentation in the temple, surrounded by God's grace, his favor, which rests upon us, that stays with us. Okay? So God chooses and chooses and chooses and chooses and never stops choosing us from cradle to grave. We pray to the Lord for the repose of the soul of Antonio and Dolores Bunsalan, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord that we might accept that grace from God that we are chosen by Him. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray for all who seek the Lord with their hearts and are not necessarily clear about his presence and come to us that they might find his presence here in the temple of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died and gone before us, been marks of salvation to us, we pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of your hearts, we pray to the Lord. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer. Fruit of the field and work of the human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice from our hands. With the praise and glory of God's name. May this offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you willed that our that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of all the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation. And with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. <clears throat> Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, St. Simeon and St. Anna, our Holy Father Dominic, our sister Catherine of Siena, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen, Lord, graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are you now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let's offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. On you stay. 
Quitolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. On your day, quitolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. On your day, quitolis peccato mundi. Let's pray together our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be here. And only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ. So may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord.